DVD or a TV back at y'all live for the dirty section of YouTube back with another one. Today we're going to talk about Sean and Diddy beef with Scar. Now if you don't know who Scar is, he was a dude from Prospect Heights, Brooklyn, known to be real violent and get busy. He was arrested seven times for assault, weapons possession, and domestic violence. Now how all this happened, Sean was in the club with Diddy, Club New York. 1999, December 29th, Diddy had his girlfriend at the time, J-Lo, with him. And supposedly, they say, Diddy had bumped in the scar. When he bumped in the scar, you feel me, Um, a little champagne fell on the scar. And scar was a feeling that. Now, it probably was tension already because they said Diddy was in there balling, now acting a fool, had his mink coat on, popping bottles. And, you know, it's always been tension between Brooklyn and Harlem dudes, if you consider Diddy a real Harlem dude. But anyway... After they started arguing, they said um, Scar threw a stack of money in his face. It's not clear if Scar did it or his homeboys did it, but definitely a stack of money got thrown at Diddy's face. Now, I'm surprised this even happened because at the time, Diddy was with Wolf, his bodyguard and all that at the time. And Wolf is a real serious dude. So I'm, I'm surprised Sean even had to step into the situation. You feel me? Being that he's a rapper. You know what I'm saying? And Wolf ain't take care of it. So, you know, Sean knew Scar on him and he said like, he knew they were serious dudes, so when they started making the threats about popping Diddy head off, he knew it can happen. So, you know, he said when the Scar Mans reached for their hammer, once he reached for his hammer, Sean started shooting. Now, listen to Sean tell the story. Again, with me, you know, the, you know, you would think that there was no one in the club with guns. There was no one else firing. You would think that, you know, I just pulled my gun out and started, you know, blicking off, and that certainly wasn't the case. You know what I mean? Somebody certainly drew a weapon. And I shot that person, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and the ricochets, in my opinion, came from somebody else. Um, and there's no proof, there's no ballistic evidence that links me, you know, to any of the victims, because uh, none of the bullets came out. But I definitely shot the guy that was trying to shoot me. I shot him in the shoulder, you know what I mean? And that's because, you know, after threatening us, after telling us they was going to kill us, after saying it was going to pop our head off, um, you know, Scar, who's dead now, you know, he, you know, is a known, you know, street guy. You know what I'm saying? I, I knew those guys. So I know when they start talking crazy that that's not just talk. You know what I mean? So when I see somebody go for their ratchet, you know, um, it was, you know, kill or be killed. You know what I'm saying? And when Sean got through busting his gun and all that, you know, security rushed him. And as they grabbed him, a shot went off in the air and all that. You know what I'm saying? It was a female there. She said she got shot in the nose and the face and all that. And Sean said he knew her. They actually went to the studio together before and hung out. So he don't even know why she had make these accusations like he was the one who shot her. Basically, Sean saying it was more than one gun going off, basically. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, even witnesses said that Diddy pulled out a gun and was shooting. You know what I mean? Now, you know they was going to say that because they want that lawsuit money. Now, Diddy, Wolf, and Jennifer Lopez all got in the same car. And, you know, they end up running, you know, 11 red lights, getting chased by the cops for like 20 blocks and all that. And they um, allegedly tossed one of the guns out the window, which the cops recovered, and they found the gun in the car. And, you know, Wolf and Diddy ended up getting charged with them guns and all that. And, you know, um, Diddy even tried to bribe the, um, the driver to take the rap. Like, he offered him 50 bands and a $40,000 ring that J-Lo gave him. So Diddy was bribing like a motherfucker trying to get off, boy. He ain't want no smoke. He ain't want that time. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he eventually separated his case from Sean. Diddy got off and Sean ended up doing the um, 10 years. You know what I mean? For reckless endangerment, possession of a weapon, you know, um, assault. And just crazy, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, um, Scar from Brooklyn, he ended up dying later on in a separate situation. I think he got shot in his head and all that. So, you know, very unfortunate that Sean had to do all that time, hold it down, Diddy. And, you know, Diddy even stopped talking to him and all that. So it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Scar was living that life and he eventually got killed in them streets. You know what I'm saying? But this is just a quick little piece on Scar, Sean, and Diddy beef and all that. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. One.